So we're gonna take this game that we did with a foam mat to compare three digit numbers. Now, last time we had students versus teacher and we turned over cards where we started at the ones for anticipation. Ooh, that's really close. Oh, students will say, yay, I won. Do I have to turn over a ones card to decide if the students won or the teacher won? That's a great question. How do you know? Is there any way the teacher can win this way? How do you know? So that's what these games allow us to do. So we did this the first time. What we're going to do this time is we are going to have teachers versus students, same concept. And instead, this is the students. So maybe have one spokesperson for the students or maybe have um, a table. Eight was turned over. Do the students want to put that in the 800s, 810s, and 81s? And have them talk as a group. Perhaps have each table have a whiteboard, and then they have one spokesperson allowing um, all the students, this is their whiteboards below here, so each table group has their own whiteboard. And then as a team, all these people who are around their table, this team will collectively give the answer what's, what position. Maybe they say the hundreds because that gives 800. So here you're having students engaged in the process and then the one spokesperson from the table holds it up and maybe the majority wins, something like that. Just have fun with it. Okay, we wanna know why. Why do you wanna put that here? We're looking obviously for the language that 800s is a very high number. Now our cards go from ace to nine. That's really important. Okay, now it's the teacher's turn. The teacher gets four. I might say, is this a good move? Why or why not? Is this a good move and so forth? So then you just continue. Now it's the student's turn. Oh, the student's got a nine, but that's okay. Would they rather have it be nine tens or nine ones? And I would encourage the language here. Okay, if we put it here after letting them talk, and there are groups here, they would, they would, they could do that again. And instead of it being hundreds, maybe they say, we want to put it in the tens because that would result in 90. So that way they're still getting that language. So if they have it here, I want them to say, well, let's read our number 890. Let's read it here, 809. Here we're, still get, we're getting a lot of practice with that language. That is really what this is about, practice with language. Six, why would I not want it here? About how much difference is there? This would be 600. This is about 200 less, so I'm going to put it here. Oh, they got a one. Oh, that's so nice. What is their number? 891. What do I need to get to beat them? If I get an eight, will I beat them? Will I lose? How much will I lose by? Things like that. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, we had them invested, which is what we want. So I lost. I lost by about 300, a little bit more, 330, not exact, but roughly around there. Okay. So that is another way to play hundreds, tens, and ones with comparing three-digit numbers. All right? Again, have fun with it. Enjoy.